Hello, people who cannot sit at home. Thank you so much for joining me today. So what we're going to do today is go to a spa, something that's quite unusual for this channel, but also very, very important. I absolutely love spas and there's going to be more to come about kind of spa reviews and whatnot on this channel because we all need to relax and unwind. So what we did is we arrived at the Go Play Spa. It's in Markham and it's fairly new. It's about three years old. It was open in 2019. We arrived there on a Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m., which I think was a great idea because there was almost no people and it was uh, pretty much to ourselves. So let me go ahead and read you what exactly is at the Go Play Spa. So first of all, it's a 24-hour spa. It has jacuzzis, a male jacuzzi and changing rooms and female jacuzzi and changing rooms. For the sauna, saunas are together, male and female. Uh, they have salt room, jade room, volcanic rock room, ice room, agate room, amethyst, far infrared room. And then they have the resting areas. So they have the J, go place hall one, K, go place hall two, L, comfort room. And then they have miscellaneous things such as the dining area, which I'm going to talk later on. They have a massage room, gym, computer room, and two VIP conference rooms. All in all, this is 68,000 square feet of space in uh, two floors. And we had absolute blast here. And I definitely highly recommend this. And this is not sponsored. <laughs> so over here, you can see me kind of walk around and showing you kind of different areas of the spa. Sorry for some of my filming because my main goal over here was to actually relax <laughs> and not film. But I hope that I am showing you the important parts about the spa. So let's continue our tour over here is the ice room. It's about four degrees. As you can see, it is not that cold, but it's definitely nice because you're supposed to go from hot to cold. So for example, you would go to Jade room and then you would go to this cooler room to, um, I think it's to, to get the sweat happening. Please research the, the, the technical terms of the spa. I'm not the best at explaining it, but yes, you're supposed to do the contrast. Over here, it's just kind of like the hallway. It's designed beautifully. You can definitely lay down. There's lots of couches. If you ask the nice gentlemen or ladies around, uh, they have the blankets. You can ask for blankets. There are lots of towels all around. You don't need to bring your own. You also don't need to bring anything of your own because they give you like the uniform and you get to keep the uniform, which is a lot of fun. Uh, the only thing I would suggest is do buy the $3 slippers. I don't think you can bring your own slippers. Over here, we're going to go into the agate room. It is fairly hot. All of these rooms, the stone rooms were pretty hot and you're supposed to go in and maybe spend good, you know, five minutes, however long you can handle to get the toxins out. It was so much fun looking at all of the stones, kind of exploring it. They did an amazing job cutting them and they're all different colors and it's very beautiful. Because currently this is the COVID times. So there is a request that you do wear the masks pretty much everywhere other than when you're, of course, eating or inside one of the rooms just to, of course, prevent the spread. Here is us visiting the meeting room. I found it hilarious because they have the Star Trek chairs on either side, which is really funny. I'm not sure if you can use the computers. Probably yes, you need to check it out. The gym was interesting because, of course, you can use it. But because you don't have the shoes, they provide the shoes, which is also very interesting to see. So you have different sizes, male, female. They have kind of like the deodorant type of thing over there. They have the socks to put on. And um, I thought that was actually a cool idea because, of course, yes, I, it, you don't usually bring shoes to a spa. So this was a nice touch. Entering the Jade Room, 70 degrees Celsius. Definitely hot, very beautiful. Again, one of those rooms where you can spend time not only detoxing, but looking at the walls. <laughs> Overall, I was really blown away by the detailing and the stones and, quite frankly, the richness that this whole spa has been done with. The library was great. We picked a few books and just relaxed. There is absolutely no pressure to leave. Only, I think, from 2 a.m. You have to pay about $15 extra because you're kind of like after hours. Uh, I should mention that, for example, massages are extra and food is extra. We did not do the massages, but we did do the food. We went to the restaurant and what we ordered was, by the way, you can order lobster if you wish so. 
and they can even make sushi out of it and uh, there are different ways that they can prepare it we ordered sashimi it was about 17 dollars. i'd say it's a bit small size i would not recommend we ordered oysters they were actually really great definitely recommend and then we ordered a bunch of different sushi and special maki i highly recommend their sushi it was absolutely amazing and the prices were not that expensive which i found very nice so over here i'm in the amethyst room they have this huge rock of amethyst it was just such a joy to explore the room itself is kind of lukewarm it's more of a yoga studio and you can lay down on the floor zone out right behind the amethyst room there is a room that you don't even see but make sure to go if you are there it's a movie room there are literally beds where you can relax nothing is showing but it's very cool to be in a movie theater which by the way this was an old movie theater so they kept one of the rooms and this is pretty much it that I wanted to show you of the spa. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Definitely do recommend this and make sure to go in the morning because it does get really full at about 2.30, I would say. Thank you so much. And of course, subscribe, like, and share if you enjoy my trips. Thank you. Bye.